So how many of you have um, seen this magnet before? Is like stressed as desserts spelled backwards, right? A lot of us, when we're stressed out, we may turn to certain foods, certain friends, Ben and Jerry, to cope with stress. Really, the reason why we crave certain foods when we're stressed out, some of it is psychological, but a lot of it has to do, going back, to cortisol again. Now think about how many times you experience stress during the day. You might actually be surprised. Okay, so let's say you accidentally overslept. <gasps> oh my God, squirt, there goes a little bit of cortisol, okay? <laughs> so now you're like, oh my God, I have got to get to the salon, I've got to get there, and traffic is awful. Squirt, squirt, there goes more cortisol. You're like, come on, okay? And then you're like, I can sneak in the back door so my boss won't see me, and then you're coming in and then they see you and you're just like, oh, okay, squirt, there goes some cortisol. You know, and then you're not completely prepared, there goes more cortisol. You know, so think about how many times during the day, just little things like that releases those, the adrenaline, the cortisol. So for a lot of us, it's not that we've got these really intense, oppressive stressors all day long, but we've got frequent bouts of stress, which is releasing cortisol. And remember, what's cortisol's job in the body? To make us eat, to replace the food, and to restock the shelves. Now, an interesting story. Salmon, every year they make their journey back to their, their spawning grounds to lay their eggs, right? And this is a really long, arduous journey. For some salmon, this can be as long as a thousand miles. Now, what happens to salmon after they reach their spawning grounds and they lay their eggs? They die. Do you know why they die? You may think, well, they're just genetically programmed. That's the end of the life cycle. Actually, the journey has been so stressful, and their levels of cortisol are so high that they have devastated their immune systems, and basically they die from elevated levels of cortisol. So this is very important too with stress management, isn't it? Talk about that. Yeah, as an exercise physiologist, I've actually designed this to release hormones in the body that combat stress and what I've termed as the cortisol crisis. When we're exposed to a stressful event, the body releases stress hormones that give us immediate energy to either fight or flee. And when we do that, that's intense physical activity. And that intense physical activity releases endorphins, which are the feel-good hormones, mm -hmm. which flush out those toxic stress hormones. that your body responds to stress. Now, I want to talk a little bit about nutrition because we said diet can be a stress in the body. And I want to explain how you can minimize the stress on your system by just understanding some very simple um, nutrition strategies. Jenny Evans is an internationally recognized expert on stress, exercise physiology, nutrition, and performance. Her dynamic presentations inspire, entertain, and educate Fortune 500 audiences worldwide to increase their capacity for stress and to discover how to recover from stress more quickly and effectively. Clients improve their performance and productivity, all while enhancing their health. So when people come to me, oftentimes what they're really looking for is a sense of balance in their lives. They'll say, Jenny, what I really need is to find a balance between my work life and my home life. And my response to that request is, you know what? You don't have a work life or a home life. You have a life, one life. And it's impossible 
to split them in two. What goes on with you during the workday, it's impossible to leave that. You bring that home with you. And if you've got things going on at home, those things also come into the office with you. So we have to take a more holistic approach to how we're living our lives.